Good day. I'm Daniel C. Potts, and I'm a neurologist in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Uh, I'm an associate clinical professor at the College of Community Health Sciences at the University of Alabama, and I am a member of the task force and advisory council for the Alzheimer's and Dementia Conference 2011, sponsored by the University of Alabama. My involvement with the conference started last year on the planning uh, committee for the 2010 conference. Uh, I should step back and say that as a general neurologist, I see Alzheimer's patients, but it wasn't until I encountered the disease very personally in my own father that I really became tremendously interested in the caregiving aspects and in educating the public about Alzheimer's. The 2011 Alzheimer's Conference at the University of Alabama is very, very important. You see, we live in a time when the incidence of Alzheimer's disease and other dementias is increasing, and it's certainly the healthcare challenge of the 21st century. In our particular region of the country, uh, we have a large population of dementia and Alzheimer's patients, and we have a large number of caregivers, both professional and lay caregivers, in our community and in our region. We feel the time is right for this conference because we feel that there is critical information that we need to get out to caregivers and to healthcare professionals to manage patients with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. If you happen to be a provider of care for an Alzheimer's patient or dementia patient, both in a home, in an assisted living facility, in a specialty care unit, in a nursing home, if you are a healthcare practitioner such as a nurse, a nurse practitioner, a physician, uh, if you are a social worker, if you are a gerontologist, there are many others uh, of, of you that could benefit from this conference, but we urge you in particular to try to attend the 2011 Dementia Conference. If you attend the 2011 Alzheimer's and Dementia Conference at the University of Alabama on August the 23rd and 24th, Tuesday and Wednesday of this year, we hope that you will take home some critical information. We hope that you will have learned how to implement and discuss and educate about successful ways to age across the lifespan, to maintain active and vibrant into old age, and to maintain cognitive health across an entire lifespan. We also hope that you will come away with, with important uh, techniques to both manage and appropriately care for and validate individuals with Alzheimer's disease, that you can help support their caregivers, and that you can add to their dignity and quality of life. Thank you.